seems like no one's going to say this. So I guess it's going to have to be me. Dating sites are for desperate people. I'm so sorry. Before y'all get mad at me, hear me out. Anytime you hear horror stories, when women come out and tell their stories about a man who did this to her, a man who played her, a man who lied to her, a man who, uh, who, who, the, who the bleep that I marry, that story that's going around, right? A woman who was almost unalived or a woman who got kicked out of a car on the first date and whatever else. Anytime you hear stories like this, even many of the women who've actually been put six feet under, Whenever you hear those stories, like 90 something percent of the time, when you ask these women, where did you meet this man? The vast majority of the time, they met on a dating site, Facebook dating or Tinder or Plenty of Fish or a, a site for literal sociopaths and serial killers. Like literally, that is where desperate people go to meet people, in my personal opinion. I feel like the vast majority of the males on dating sites, there's something wrong with them. They are sociopaths, they're narcissists, they are not very attractive, so you would get catfished. You know, um, They're lying about their marital status, they're lying about the amount of children that they have. A lot of them are married, many of them are on a down low. A lot of them are hobosexuals. Many of them are pedos that wanna date single mothers just so they can get at your kids, right? Those are the types of men that are on dating sites. You might come across a 0.0003% of men who are really just having a hard time. They're really a decent guy. They're really having a hard time meeting women. They're shy or something's wrong with them, but they're not really terrible. That's it. The rest of them, they're crazy. And we know this because every time you hear a horror story of something happening to a woman, she met him on a dating site nine times out of 10. So we know this already. So why are you on there? And as a woman, you are the value. Shout out to Princella, right? She said you're the value because that sounds better than saying you're the prize. But you really are the prize though, right? So how are you the prize and you're out sifting through trash, garbage? Like you're sifting through trash, literally, to try to find love when you're supposed to be loving yourself. And I know a lot of y'all don't because you're out here, I want somebody to love me. I'm looking for love. You're doing that because you don't have enough love within yourself. People who love themselves, typically they're not that desperate, right? So we know the types of men that are on these sites. You're not going to get, you're really not going to get good results. Many people who were on dating sites and got off, they got off because they realized that. They realized, you know, this is a waste of time. How many times do you have to hear stories of women like getting done wrong, getting dragged? You can't get these people out your house. They're trying to unalive you because you want them to go. They're they're lying about their existence. Like, wh- how many times do y'all have to hear these stories before you realize that that is not a place for women to be? I'm starting to get to a place in my life where I I'm starting, and I hate to say this, but I'm starting not to have that much empathy for for you, the stories that I'm hearing coming out these da- these dating sites because y'all are like. We got, we all got social media. We all hear these stories. How are y'all not paying attention? You're not going to be the exception to the rule. You're on a dating site, just like the rest of these people that are desperate. You're going to get pretty much the same results. Many women got worse results. Many of them are in their graves right now because they met some dude on a dating site and had him meet him at your house the same night for the first date. Stupid shit like that. Like y'all got to stop this. Like I said, This is my opinion. So I know a lot of you guys are going to come over here and say, that's just your opinion. It is. And I'm basing that opinion off the fact that when you hear horror stories, nine times out of 10, these women met these men on dating sites. Please delete these apps from your phone. Please. These dating sites is not going to get you nowhere, but unalived, essayed, right? And trauma that's going to take you years to get over. That's all you're going to get out of this. I wish y'all would just realize this and get off those dating sites yes you're desperate okay i don't say that to be funny or to make you feel bad but i want you to look in the mirror take a look at yourselves you're on these sites because you're desperate there's some part of you that are like i'm not finding what i want to find in real life listen normal people meet people in a normal way period i don't care how advanced social media is or or the dating sites i don't care a normal person will meet people in an organic environment, at work, uh, walking to Target, 
you know what I mean? A party, a, somebody's junior's bachelor party, even normal settings. Do you know what I mean? That that's that's what normal people do. So that's just my thought on this. I wish y'all would stop, ladies. Please get off these sites. Let these men have each other, okay? Because you don't belong there. You are literally the prize. There is no reason why the prize should be out here desperately searching and pecking around for a man. Shout out to to Sheila True Love, <laughs> my mama. <laughs> All right. I like I always say, some of these women make it far away because of the way they look. They don't need to have any mental capacity. They just make it far through our life because of what it would look. So this woman shows herself on social media. And I don't know if she's, she thinks social media is just women with pure hearts looking at her page and stuff like that. All type of men are looking at her page and she doesn't care. If she, if women can monetize off their looks, they don't really care about what's happening in the world or what their people are doing. So this woman has to understand that she's saying that get off this dating apps, right? And I always say this. We men give relationships. Women give sex, right? That's just what it is. I'm always intrigued. I'm always intrigued how, because I'm on dating apps and stuff, and I, I see how that stuff works. I've been on them and everything. When I look at it, right? It makes it, it, it. This is what I always I find amusing. If you if you look at it, I want I want y'all to look at this. I never understood how every invention we create, every single invention we create, and they blame us. Women blame us, saying that we did it first. We sexualize women. Say what y'all want to say. We create every new invention. The first thing these women want to do is sell the box. You created a street in a corner. They are out there selling the box. You give them a home. They're selling it at their homes. You give them social media. They're selling it on social media. You give them apps. They're selling themselves on every single platform. And then they speak about it like this. These guys are weird, creepy and stuff like that. I need to understand this. Why do every time we give you an item that you can use it for a variety of things? And we never created that item for porn. We never created it. We never created it for sexual things. That, that When TikTok was created, they didn't say, you know what? They're going to shake their ass on here, guys. These women are going to come out here and shake their ass. They never thought that. It's a clip thing. It's a little trailer things. Like, boom, you watch a video, you move on. Most of them are showing their bodies and shaking their ass. That's what they're doing on there. And some of them don't get banned. They don't get banned. Weird things to me. I don't, I don't know how them videos stay up there. Even if it's 18 and up, it's just like, just off the the just the construction of I would think the more kids than anything else, like adults, is more kids on there. So I don't get it. They created Instagram, a picture app. Literally post a picture, boom. Then I, at one point they didn't have no comment section, just a picture. They post their ass on there, sell their content. I'm pretty sure when that boy Zach was creating that app, he wasn't like, them girls gonna post their ass on this one. They're gonna really sell some cat on this one. I don't think that was the mindset. Women see it, and the first thing they do, post their ass. They get on Snapchat. I'm pretty sure whoever created Snapchat was not thinking, you know what? They're going to start sending all types of un weird stuff on here. They're going to probably they're not, they're gonna make videos and content off this thing. That wasn't a mindset. But guess what they're doing? Selling things on there, too. Dating apps. A place where these women can meet random guys and potentially date somebody if they don't like going outside, if they're homebodies. They're selling the cat too. <laughs> they're selling the cat too. You take them to a club setting where you're supposed to have fun, interact with other individuals. They huddle up, bundle up like roaches. And they're only trying to get to the section with the man with the money and trying to get with that person. And the only way they try to do that is by sexualizing themselves, dress provocatively, make sure I'm picked for this section and stuff like that. Everywhere we present these women that they use their body, their image that they sit here and say, oh, you man, sexualize us. That's the first thing you offer to a man. That's the first thing. If we, if women sit here and say we're not giving it up unless you, might, if you become my husband, that will be the standard. That will be the standard. These are we live in the most weirdest times. These women that don't value themselves, they don't know what value is. Because if you value yourself, you wouldn't carry yourself outside like that. 
you wouldn't do the things that you do. But they pick and choose when they feel like they're high priority or they're, they're high quality women and stuff like that. I'm going to be smart here, but I'm going to be dumb the rest of my life. I'm going to be very intelligent in this spot, but I'm going to be dumb for the rest of my life. Like It does not make sense how this thing is carried out. It's all chaos. Like We have to sit here and this is a conversation that's really be having nowadays. Guys telling their women, you shouldn't dress like a single woman when you are in a relationship. These are the so-called prizes. The concept of relationship doesn't make sense. For them to be arguing for all this sensitive situation on dating apps and stuff like that, you don't even know how to date. You don't even know how to keep a man. You don't even know the basics of relationship. Y'all don't even know how to carry yourselves to the point that guys have to tell y'all, cover up. There's weirdos out here. Oh, well, if they want to do what they're going to do, they shall have self-control. The most ignorant response, the most ignorant response you could hear that you could fathom. There's shooters out there. Well, them shooters should make sure they don't shoot my way. And these are the individuals like I, I would never understand how they have so much complaints about stuff they have complete autonomy complete control these complaints make zero sense to me and it's hard to even try to fathom what the hell is going on you will tell them a rational situation and they will blow it out of proportion and tell you well the world should treat women better the world don't give a damn about human being the world is going to do what it does you should protect yourself. You should value yourself. Well, the world should value me and protect me. That's not the world job. The world wasn't created to value you and protect you. That wasn't the reason why I was created. You are not that valuable. One entity is not that valuable. You have complete autonomy. We built homes, houses. We got police forces. We got military forces. You have security, you have weapons and stuff. We created a whole lot of things to keep you safe. But you will go outside, put yourself in the most dangerous positions, and then complain about being in a dangerous Like, it doesn't make sense. We create technology. Y'all don't want to advance technology. Y'all want to sexualize technology. It doesn't make sense. We are now recruiting y'all for this. People are saying, stop doing what y'all doing. We laugh and we talk about it, but y'all keep up. Oh, we could do whatever we want. It doesn't make sense to us. I would never sit here and empathize with these crackheads when they talk about this nonsense. It doesn't make sense. You get on dating apps. If you're serious about your intentions, you will pick right. But if you're there to have fun, which majority of them are, just like they think about this, the, the same way they have fun in the real world and they can't pick to save their life, they do the exact same thing on dating apps. It does not change. It does not change. The same way she would interact in a dating app is the same way she interact in her Instagram, her Twitter, and everything. If guys hit her up and she likes what she sees, she's going after it. She don't need all the information. If a man walk up to her side and she sees the car, she sees the lifestyle, she don't need all the information. They're horrible at vetting. Society is not the one that's destroying. Women hurt women. For some odd reason, y'all, it's like y'all fail to realize what the world is. It's like y'all walking children. No self-discipline, no self-control. And then y'all blame everybody for things y'all do to yourself. And y'all call y'all children. Like it's, we call them adults for no reason. These guys on dating apps, you don't have to be on it. These guys out here, you don't have to date them. They don't want to have, don't give them kids. You, a lot of things, you don't have to do it. But y'all go out there, do it, and y'all complain. And say, oh, these guys, this. And they're just like, it does not make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me, guys. It doesn't make sense to me. It's, <sighs> I, I would never understand how we, every invention we create, they have to sexualize it. I would never understand it. I would never understand it. And then for some reason, it's the man fault. Like, it's, it's crazy. Like, Dating apps, all this selling vagina on there. For what? You can just date a man and sleep with that guy. Why are you selling it to random guys? It does not help you in life. But like, I'm subscribed, guys.